Ableton crap. You're probably wondering how I got here. Let me start from the beginning. Disclaimer, this video has a bunch of camera audio and no internal audio, but don't worry. At the end of the video, you will see my screen and you will hear the beat. So Savior, this guy is an amateur because he doesn't use internal audio comments to yourself. Just keep it to yourself, right? So like I said in my last beat, I start every beat with a drum loop just so I can get the chords out and the melodies out and the ideas out quicker. Then I go in and figure out the chord progression. Switch it up. Find a pad. I should just do it on piano first. Then I decided to reverse the pads. Reverse. Low key sounds the same. But it ended up sounding the same until. Oh, what if I just find the right part? Ooh. And here I go mistakes once again, not hitting the record button. And I also forgot that Ableton has a new function that saves all your MIDI notes, even if you're not recording. Save this real quick. And if you're ever wondering how I come up with the names of my beats, First thing that comes to mind, canon. Ooh, and then have this one go to, so we're at E minor for the first chord. And then we can go to B minor. Down, 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 down. Then I added a synth from Massive. getting tired of the drum loop so I decided to switch it up and that's something that I've been trying to get into the habit of. Um, when I'm making beats and I hear a sound that I don't like, I try and instantly change it instead of keeping it in the beat and just listening to it and getting tired of it because that's usually how I get tired of beats. I just hear something in the beat that I don't like but I don't change it because I'm so like lost in the beat making zone. So I'm trying to get in the habit of just switching things out as fast as I can when I don't like it. Then I slowed it down. And I went through a bunch of different melodies like this one. This one. This one. And even this one. And then I ended up changing the sound. Ooh, that might be it right there.
found it. That might be kind of hard. Dum, 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 dum. Down, 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 down. I know a lot of you are watching this on your phone, so you won't be able to hear the 808, but I know you can hear this. If the beat makes me want to freestyle, that's how I know I have something good. And for the final sound, exhale. Ooh. Put some delay on it. Just kidding, that wasn't the final sound. The strings from Machine were the final sound. Mm, I'd be better with strings, like some like. Shout out to my orchestra teacher, Miss Anderson. I'm sure she'd be proud of my proper form. And Ableton crashed. And that's the entire beat. If you're interested in purchasing a lease or purchasing this beat exclusively, it will be on my website. Head to chrispunsalon.com or you can click the link in the description or you can click the link in the pinned comment. <laughs> yeah. And that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm just trying different styles of these beat making videos. I'm trying to switch it up. I don't wanna do the same thing over and over. So I'm just trying different things. So let me know what you thought of this. And um, I don't know, I just figured I'd throw in some raw clips of me actually making a beat and my thought process and how I get chords and melodies out of my head. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to everybody using the Chris Salon 365 hashtag. Shout out to everybody um, posting beats. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. And um, shout out to you. Yes, you. Right there. Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention. Please pay your producers, and I'll see you guys in the next video.